Alright, maybe that'll fix a few things. Eh, it's still gonna run slow for us, but... It's alright, I guess. Ah, we're changing. I just... I don't understand here. Is it... No, it's not controls. Wouldn't it just be video? I guess we could turn the resolution down. A little bit. Just, uh... Just until we get out of this part with the fire. No, it's... It's still pretty laggy. Ah, it's not as laggy. Anyway, we turned into the beast again. Rawr, the beast. Really doesn't do much for us. We could just walk around in a circle. In fact, I guess that's what we'll do. Since uh, earlier there were two paths we could take, this is coming up from the other path. So it's, it's significantly shorter than that path we took to get to the orc that died. You can see we're back here where the where the cave collapsed. And you just see it there that it goes around in a circle. Hmm. These pools can be lit on fire with the spark spell. It doesn't really serve to do much, though. Oh, good. We're changing back. So, let's... We see there's, like, pits of fire. Pits of lava. Let's go down and poke it with a stick. Whoa! And the really big cockroach. This thing is actually kind of dangerous. Oh, there's two of them. Taste the halberd of justice! Oh man, they just aren't dying. You see, a good strategy is to take a step backwards every time you swing. It's kind of cheap, but it usually prevents the enemy from attacking you. Because otherwise, you just sit there and take damage. Oh man, we are really getting pounded here. We need to run away and cure a little bit. I see we lost the we lost the sound again. There we go. It came back. Man, these guys are putting up quite a fight. Come on, you cockroaches! And one falls. I think we can just tank this one. Alright. Was that necessary? No, of course not. What, was it fun? Yeah. Jump on the cliff. Alright. After killing the giant cockroaches and escaping the fire, I think we can set the resolution back to high. You can see there's a guard there. If we do this right, we can uh, be a little mischievous. Ah! Eh. I have mixed feelings about that. That feels a little low, even for me. What? What the heck? It gains us some magic experience points. Alright, I believe we are nearing our salvation as a river. That's strange. Anyway, we can pull this lever to open up the cage or the gate here. 
Strangely, though, he's gone. I don't know where he went. There's another broken mace on the floor. I, I don't know why they're all broken. Pyropod. That'll change our spark spell momentarily into fire. The guardian orb will summon a sword to fight for us for a short amount of time. And the crossbow, which lets us shoot arrows. Thankfully, you don't have to deal with, uh, like, actually picking up arrows. You just shoot them. Anyway, let's pull some more levers here. Opens up all the doors. I really don't understand this little thing here, but... I don't know, maybe it's a reference to some previous game. You come back here later in Lanzalore 3, which tickled me to death. I thought it was a lot of fun. And there is a, there's some kind of bridge or something it used to go over there. <clears throat> you can see it on the mini-map, but it's, I have no, no idea of how to get over there. And frankly, Luther can't swim, he just drowns, so. Hey, what? Oh, goody. Let's have some fun. Uh, typical to Lands of Lore, a lot of things are interactable, including the chains on the bridge. <laughs> have fun dr drowning? Oh, crap. No! <clears throat> Well, that was fun. That didn't work out as I had planned it. In fact, <laughs> we weren't supposed to drown. Only he was. So this bridge here, you can cut the chains on it. Ah! I cut mine! No! It auto-saved! I'm drowning! Nuggets. No, I would not like to load the most recently saved game. There, let's load that one. Hey, why is this not working? It cut the bridge out that we were standing on. Alright, we're gonna get this. Ha ha! Foolish guard, walk to your doom! I don't even know where he went. Oh, hello, another guard. Boy, there sure are some dumb Gladstonian guards. Can we shoot the... No? Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> They'll never be able to follow me now! Let's further make sure they can't follow us. There we go. Yeah, th as far as I know, there's really no way to... There's no way to get down here without dying. I don't know. We can't attack that, can we? Nah. Oh well. Yep, never quite figured that one out. Oh well, let's move on. By the way, I, I, I would like to give a quick, and I'm sorry I keep interrupting, but I would like to give a quick overview on the big red guy that we saw in the beginning of the game. His name is the Draracle, and in this, in this world, there are, um, there are gods, uh, I, I would assume goddesses, but I've never seen one, uh, because, like I said, I jumped into this game, uh, this is the only one in the series that I've really played, besides three, and the gods are slowly dying off, or leaving, or something like that, so he's one of the only ones left, and he's known as the Draracle, it's a mix between dragon and oracle, and, uh, basically he can see the future, but, you know, typical to the, uh, typical to the gods, you know, they're not supposed to, they're not supposed to uh, intervene, you know, tell mortals too much about their fate and silly stuff like that.